Hello and welcome to another update video about Rune. Yeah, Rune still stuck below the $1.70 level. Um, it is certainly possible that the Rune chart already started this B wave rally here. It's at the moment, I think it can be assumed. Um, the price was basically begging for a bounce, especially as we already crossed below the 50% retracement level in the yellow box. This is typically the latest point where I would like to see the B wave to start because anything below that typically increases the likelihood of failure of this potential one two setup that we have that could lead to a third wave rally to the upside as soon as waves A, waves B and C are done. So why does it lead to a failure? It typically leads to a failure if the B wave starts to late because the C wave will eventually run out of space. Okay, what we often observe is if the E wave, the A wave is very long, then it is quite bearish, then the B wave can be short and the C wave will end below support and then eventually break support and invalidate the setup. At the moment, this is sort of not very clear. I mean, it broke below the 50% FIB level, but we didn't get a sustained break. So we still wanna allow it to do the B wave and the C wave. And then we are going to watch the $1.10 level down there the 78.6 retracement level if it's holding. Um, this is critical support. So we have critical support for the C wave at, I would say $1.35 and $1.10. Um, the C wave should in all likelihood move below the low of the A wave and the B wave would be a three wave move. That could have started, well, that could have started, but it's still stuck below the $1.70 level. I explained in the last few days that I wanna see a sustained break above $1.70 to confirm that wave B is running. Also, the subwave structure isn't very clear yet. What could be is that of the B wave, the B wave is obviously an ABC structure, could be that this is the A wave. Yeah, we're now doing a B wave and then move up in wave C of B. The higher the B wave goes, the better actually for the setup in my opinion. So don't um, don't make, it, make the mistake to think the B wave has to stop here. It, uh, the B waves are the most difficult waves to predict. B waves can be extremely short. However, if they are, then it reduces the likelihood of success of the overall setup. B waves can be very long. They can even overshoot to the upside. So we need to be ready that potentially there will be a break above the $2.09 level. Okay, But this is the standard retracement zone for a B wave that I always put on the chart if we are dealing with a B wave because it is acting as a potential target. It's acting as a magnet, but we need to be watching the area when we get there for potential reactions. So obviously we had a potential five wave move to the upside. Yeah, one of the few coins where we're actually exploring a bullish scenario, because to be honest, most coins do not even show anything remotely bullish at the moment, yeah? I mean, Bitcoin, Ethereum, we still track bullish scenarios on the daily, but short term also expect further downside. A lot of the a lot of the coins out there are still showing no bullish signs. Yeah, Rune at least had a potential five wave move to the upside, which gives us some bullish structures to work with. So expectations are now, um, well, not expectations, but we are watching for that B wave. OK. If that's playing out, if the B wave is clear, then the C wave should follow afterwards. And then we can also calculate a target for the C wave more precisely once we have the B wave top in place. Yeah, so this is my update about Rune. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.